Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer at Christ the King Anglican Church. Today is Wednesday, January 10th. Our service this morning begins on page 11 in your prayer book. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done. And we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no help in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who, who are penitent, according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The Almighty and merciful Lord grant you absolution and remission of all your sins, true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and consolation of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Our service continues on page 13. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Together we say the Venite. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the depths of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. I'll invite Sarah to lead us in the psalm and the readings this morning. The I'm psalm appointed, to oh, either way. <laughs> the psalm appointed for today is Psalm 25, it can be found starting on page 297. And to you, O Lord, will I lift up my soul. My God, I have put my trust in you. O let me not be ashamed, neither let my enemies triumph over me. For all those who hope in you shall not be ashamed, but those who deal untruly shall be put to confusion. Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me forth in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation, and you has been my hope all the day long. Call to remembrance, O Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindnesses, which have been from old, been from of old. O remember not the sins and offenses of my youth, but according to your mercy, think on me, O Lord, in your goodness. Gracious and righteous is the Lord, therefore will he teach sinners in the way. Those who are meek shall he guide in judgment, and those who are gentle shall he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, forgive my sin, for it is great. Who is the one who fears the Lord? He shall teach him in the way that he shall choose. He shall dwell at ease, and his seed shall inherit the land. The Lord reveals his secret counsel to those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever looking to the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn to me and have mercy on me, for I am desolate and in misery. The sorrows of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring me out of my troubles. Look upon my adversity and, my, and misery and forgive me all my sin. Consider my enemies, how many they are and how they bear a tyrannous hate against me. O oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I have put my trust in you. Let integrity and righteous dealing preserve me, for my hope has been in you. 
Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his troubles. Glory Lord. be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. The reading today is a reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John, beginning with the fifth chapter, the 25th verse. Truly, truly, I say to you, an hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself. And he has given him authority to, ju to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. I can do nothing on my own. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. If I alone bear witness about myself, my testimony is not true. There is another who bears witness about me, and I know that the testimony he bears about me is true. You sent to John, and he has borne witness to the truth. Not that, that the testimony that I receive is from man, but I say these things so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and you were willing to rejoice for a while in his light. But the testimony that I have is greater than that of John. For the works that the Father has given me to accomplish, the very works that I am doing, bear witness about me that the Father has sent me. And the Father who sent me has himself borne witness about me. His voice you have never heard, his form you have never seen, and you do not have his word abiding in you, for you do not believe the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think that in them you have eternal life, and it is they that bear witness about me. Yet you refuse to come to me that you may have life. I do not receive glory from people, but I know that you do not have the love of God within you. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not receive me. If another comes in his own name, you will receive him. How can you believe when you receive glory from one another and do not seek the glory that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one who accuses you, Moses, on whom you have set your hope. For if you believed Moses, you would believe me. For he wrote of me, but if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The canticle this morning is canticle number four on page 82. Together, seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, says the Lord, and my, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as rain and snow fall from the heavens and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will return to me empty, but it will accompany, accomplish what I wish, pardon me, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Apostles' Creed on page 20. Together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. 
On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our service continues on page 21. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show your mercy upon us. And grant us your salvation. O Lord, guide those who govern us. And lead us in the way of justice and truth. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. And let your people sing with joy. O Lord, save your people. And bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. And defend us by your mighty power. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And take not your Holy Spirit from us. Call it of the Epiphany. O God, by the leading of a star, you manifested your only Son to the peoples of the earth. Lead us, who know you now by faith, to your presence, where we may see your glory face to face. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Colic for grace. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Defend us by your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin nor run into any danger, and that guided by your Spirit we may do what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our focus this morning is for our missionaries, and I invite prayers at this time. Heavenly Father, I lift up the missionaries that uh, Christ the King supports. I especially today lift up uh, Meredith Omland in Mexico and ask that um, you keep her safe. You continue to bless her ministry and especially to those young people around her and that those that could come against her will be kept at bay. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, we do lift up uh, the missions and the missionaries we support. Um, as Rita said, Marilyn in Mexico and the good work she does. Um, we lift up Jean, her precious Jean up in Denver and the work she's done for so many decades up there with young people. Um, and the young people she has touched have gone on to do their own good work. Um, it's like throwing pebbles in a quiet lake, the ripples go out and and where they go, we don't know. But we know you work through these missions and missionaries and we ask you, Lord, to uh, continue to show us the work you can have to support, especially as our mission and outreach committee meets um, and decides what the work you would have to support this coming year should be. We ask for strong and clear guidance from you as we continue to support these people and your work. Things we ask in your name. Mm -hmm. Father, we also lift up Kairos Prison Ministries and Hosanna Faith Comes by Hearing and Life Quest and Shine and so many others. Father, pray you just continue to bless uh, the, the gospel going out to different places throughout Albuquerque, throughout the U.S., throughout the world. Thank you for what you're doing, Lord. Our service continues on page 26 this morning. 
page 26. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And together we say the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen.